this is not breakfast. This is breakfast. This is what our meals should look like. Maybe not visually, because it's just come out the pan in, in here, but actually collectively what's on the plate. This is common. This is what I see every single day. This is what most people have for breakfast. This, toast, whatever. And this is just some weird carb that's processed. It's got loads of sugar and random shit in it, okay? But we believe it because of Tony the Tiger. He wouldn't hit us. He's, he's had a lovely time. He's giggling. <laughs> Tony, he's on me. As is the laughing cornflake character chicken guy. These companies have filled a gap in the market that we call breakfast and other companies like it. And we have based our whole knowledge of our diet on this common selection of foods because they're trying to sell us stuff. And we, it's not based on any research of what our body needs. Like, no, you know, we don't need to get up in the morning and whack loads of carbs and sugar in us. It's clearly bad. You can just see it in our society. It's like one of the huge, huge problems. Whereas breakfast, if you look at the word itself, is breaking a fast. So it's the first meal after a period of fasting. And nature has provided us that as a period of sleep. It's that important to us that we have a little fast. Okay, so the first meal is the same as every other meal in the sense that it needs to be nutritious. So this, for instance, is just eggs and broccoli uh, and I think coriander in there or whatever. But the point is, it's full of protein, some really, really good fats in there and then your micronutrients coming from your, your greens. It's like any other meal. It's just after a period of fasting, hence why it's called break fast, breakfast, breakfast. Okay, so... I want you to start thinking about this. If you're looking at this shit in the morning, that's how you start your day, you are setting yourself up all wrong, particularly if your goal is fat loss. Get some nutrients in. These guys can bugger off.